Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my Angular NGRX course. Now we have in this video, what we will try to do is we will try to show the details of the post in a separate page. Now here, if you go to the app routing, we go to the app routing. So we have completed add, edit and post list also. So the details is the only thing missing here. So now let's go to the single post. So let's go to the single post component at yes. So we can implement easily so it's not that much of difficult why because we already have implemented edit post so here what we can do we can copy these all things right we can directly copy these all things and we can directly paste it here so let's try to see so here what we'll be having id okay let's try to change it to id constant id route so let's include the route here activated route okay activator route is included and post service okay fine let's include the private post service is nothing but the post service okay post service we have included this post service also so we got the id and here we can take it as id directly perfect and we can remove this one all here what i can do here now oh, activator why it is coming error so let's try to include this activated route also okay so this one problem gone away okay so now i will having post of type post right so i will be having post of type post let's take this post and here what i will try to do is so here i will try to remove this one this dot post is equal to post dot find okay fine we, we are able to get this one now in the html what i can do is if i go here so i can go into the div so i can check here ng if oh sorry see if hey, why why is this one i am taking g if is equal to post right so now in this one what i can do is so div id so post dot id okay so title post dot title okay we will be having post dot title and here i will be having another one last one is the description post dot description i can show it directly here post dot description right so we have completed this one also now let's try it go and here so nothing is there hope everything is perfect now if i go here let's try to add a link here view details so if we add the view details in the post list here now where it will be in the post list dot html right so here i will be adding view details so view sorry view details so i can remove this one and i can copy this entire one and i can replace this all the things so post slash details slash here like this i can use now if i click on okay let's try to add ampersand in psp also okay we have added this ampersand in so we have added this one so let's go here and let's click on view details now if i click on now if i click on view details now here i am able to see the code so here if i try to click on view details here i am able to see the details now if i try to refresh it here what will happen so now if i try to refresh it here so now we are not able to see any data right so why we are not able to see any data so if you are trying to refresh it here from the store management whatever the post details present is entirely removed so now here to show this particular uh, I, uh, particular details of this id we cannot show it we cannot show it so what we can do here so the only remedy what we can do is so app routing dot module dot yes if you go and just copy this one and here in the edit also we need to show it so here i can add this resolve and here also i can add this resolve okay now if i go here and if i try to refresh the page now if i try to refresh the page we will try to see whether we will get the data or not so if i try to refresh so here i am able to get the data right so if i try to refresh i am able to get the data so now if i go back and if i click on edit post so edit post also if i try to refresh this one so let's try to see here so if i try to refresh this one edit post we are getting an error what is the error so title of undefined okay so let's go to the edit post component at yes so here we are getting the error right so here we need to check if post dot length okay if post dot length is there if the post data is there only then do these all things so now if i try to refresh this page okay i hope this error will go away 
yeah see now the error is go gone so now we have successfully implemented the add post edit post retrieving the details and also deleting the post also we have implemented so this is all about the ngrx data so we have implemented the complete thread operations using the ngrx data if you understand we are using the ngrx data we have implemented so now in the next video what we will try to do is how we can implement the same ngrx data in the lazy loading so right now we have added this one in the app routing module if you try to see in the app module we have we have added right so entity data module if it, the post module is a lazy loaded module so how we can how we can add this ngrx data let's try to see that configuration in the next video okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you